in today's video i'm gonna show you how to make this paper quilling star and another one using on edge quilling to make a regular quilled version i am going to take one full strip of quilling paper and then using a slotted tool i am going to make a coil make a loose coil and then i am going to glue the end now i am going to choose somewhere which is little bit away from the end where we joined it and make sure that you push some of the paper strips here and then pinch it a little bit make sure this end is glued well now i'm going to pinch it a bit and then it's going to make a triangle here you can see that the two sides here are so much longer than this so this is very important and now what i'm going to do is going to hold this sharp end and this sharp end and is going to make a kink over here with my two index fingers and now for this longer side of the triangle which we made first i'm going to make another kink so now I'm going to have one, two, three, four, five. So it's a five pointed star. To make it even more perfect, I'm going to use fingers on all the points and then give it a pressure so it gets the shape well. And now the star is ready. And remember, this is not easy to get the shape easily the first time. So here you can see how much time it took me to get the shape well. So as yes, it will take a while for you at the beginning, but then you can make this star shape easily after a few trials. So now let's go on to make our on edge quilling star. Here is a strip of paper that I cut from cardstock which I am going to use for making my star. If you want it to be more perfect you can get help of a ruler. So here what I do is I am going to mark my paper strip at every centimeter. The next step what I do is grab my tweezer so this is one of the tweezer which i love the most it is from quillon you can find its link in the description below if you like it i got it in two numbers which i mean one is this one and the other one is a reverse tweezer they were really helpful for quilling i have plenty of other tweezers but this is the one which i prefer so much nowadays here you can see the markings and what I'm going to do is going to fold at those points. So there were like some zigzags. One is going to be in the front and another one I push it in the back. Front. Back. Front. Back. Front. Back. So now what I'm going to do is, after we get this zigzag, I'm going to fold it like this. Make sure they all get aligned straight. You can of course do this without the help of a tweezer or a scale if you want. Your star to be smaller, you can go on with a smaller size measurement and it is just up to you to do this. It is not necessary to use a ruler. You can just take a single measurement, you can choose one and then you can just bend them in a zigzag manner. So now the inverted V, one of the inverted V, I'm going to call it as number one. So this is one, two, three, four, five. 
So after the 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, the next one I am going to tear it so that I get a smooth edge when I am going to glue the end. So now I am going to take it like this and apply glue over the part where I tore it. So apply some glue. And I'm going to put it inside of the last one and then give some pressure for it to hold. Now I got five points and when I adjust you can see the star shape that we have formed. And now the star is done. You can adjust it easily because this is made from cardstock it is so easy to maintain the shape so now the next work is to transfer it to a base for this I take glue in a board I mean I take the star apply glue over the bottom you can see the glue in the base now I am tapping it in another space so that excess glue will come out here I am going to stick it over the same glitter golden color paper after it gets dried i can cut off the shape of the star and on it paper star is done in this one i have just stuck the shape of the on it star and then fill the inside using glitter glue and this one is made out of cutout. So, so I hope that you like both the stars that we have made. One with regular quilling and the other one with on edge quilling. Do comment which one do you like in the comments below. Thanks for watching.